On Friday, August 19th, the residents of Hyman gathered to receive donations from For Good Community, a nonprofit charity operating out of Western Kentucky. Six volunteer workers loaded up their bus and made their first trip to Hyman following the flood disaster, bringing with them food, clothing, bed sheets, and other necessities for affected families to take. It's been awesome. You know, we love the people of Eastern Kentucky. This is our, like I said, our fifth time out this far, and we're about five hours west of here in Henderson, Kentucky, and it's just been humbling. Everyone's real, you know, every time we ask people that, like, you can take a whole box, they're always like, well, we want to leave more for someone else, and just that humility and like, you know, they care so deeply about their neighbor. And that's just humbling for us because we bring tons of resources where it's okay to take more than one because you lost everything, but everyone's mindset has been very positive, very uplifting, and it gives us the energy to keep coming back because it's, you know, five hours isn't a quick drive, but having the positivity has been awesome. So we specialize in getting resources. So we work with big retailers to get resources into the hands of people that don't have them. So we have socks, we have clothing, uh, we got Hanes branded stuff like underwear and bras for women. Um, we got furniture, it could be from a desk, a table. And then we have resource bags and the clear bags which are full of cleaning supplies, some food, toothbrush, hygiene products. So it really is just, we always bring enough to help people kind of restart. It's enough to kind of get you going. And we also brought shoes on this trip, which is the first time we brought shoes. So it's been, it's been good. We've been, every time we come out, we think of better things to bring and we get awesome feedback from everyone about what they're requesting. And we usually try to find it and bring it. My name is Aaron Crump, Chief Medical Officer at Pikeville Medical Center. The Heart and Vascular Institute, it's really an incredible program made incredible because of the providers, because of the technology, and because of the staff. Uh, we've truly become the leading provider of heart and vascular services in Eastern Kentucky. And in fact, what we do compares to anywhere in the nation. Pikeville Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. Since the volunteers had never brought supplies to a flooded area before, their main concerns were safety and the amount of goods to transport. Regardless, the citizens of Hyman were more than happy their community was receiving help even after the floodwaters receded. This is, this is bad. This is, you know, this is our first time being in a flood area. I said we went to the tornadoes and Bremen, Mayfield, and you know, they're all horrific. And, but the flooding, like, we've never experienced that over there in Western Kentucky, so it's been, it's been hard to see whole houses ripped off their foundation. I think everyone kind of takes for granted the power of water and what it could really do to someone. So it's, it's been rough to see the destruction as you drive in, especially through just the counties that were all affected. So it's, uh, it's been a real sobering driving through this Eastern Kentucky area, seeing everything. Yeah, so biggest concern is safety of our staff, you know, making sure we're going to an area that's safe and say it's stable for us to go into. And then it is the concern of, do we have enough resources? We, we want to help everyone. We want you to come here. And if your sister's not here, tell your sister, come out here. This is for the people. This is all free. This is, it sounds crazy. Like, what do you mean? You have brand new stuff you're giving out for free. It's like, it's just what we do. So yeah, making sure we have enough and the right location. We always try to strategically place ourselves in locations where the people can get to us easily. Especially with the flood, a lot of people lost their vehicles. A lot of people don't have great access to cars right now. So we do try to strategically place ourselves in like a hub. And this has been awesome. Like this is a great turnout. And I think we found the right spot for Heinemann, which has been just going to be an awesome day for us. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.